Well, first of all, I'd like to tell you, Ramal, that I'm proud to be here and I'm honored to be here talking on behalf of the organizations that I've been working, where I've been working and, and to share with you um, our experiences and participating in the seminar where we are talking about institutions uh, and uh, talking about issues uh, regarding the so, um, uh, civil society. Uh, I'd like to congratulate for the work of M Minister Campello and Tiago Suarez. And you've been working against extreme poverty for about four years now. And we had already the results, the outcomes of this program. I'd like to highlight uh, those results, mainly when it comes to the ministries of Brazil, uh, Brazil's work in projects. And regarding the question, uh, the Remelo's, um, Remelo's question, uh, Laís has been working about uh, the agenda already related to work. And therefore, I'd like to work with you now the service issue, the public service issue, starting by saying that we need the quality uh, social services to reach the population, which is a right of the population. This is a challenge for us, which is not a minor challenge. I know that we were working in the past with fatalities that were hard to overcome. Now, nowadays, we have already overcame uh, the, complete, the extreme poverty. Now we have to provide the population with quality service, which can be uh, done. And I'd like to highlight here as well the workshop uh, that we did last week in Rio. Tiago participated uh, and Rogerio also in this workshop. We worked and issues related to the services, social services, education, transport, mobility, sanitary system, health, public security, and household security. And we evaluated, not the services per se, but we evaluated the crucial issues that we found in this clutch of services. And in, this, uh, in the midst of these issues, we identified four factors, four main factors. We can find other fac main factors as well. But the main factor here is the question regarding what is the kind of certain, uh, service system that we should have. We don't have a development pro a real development project that is inclusive, which separates the economy from the social realm. And we have to have different resolutions from uh, one for the economic, re economic realm and the other one for the social realm. And this uh, so leads us to a different paths when it comes to economy and public and private sector issues, which are related to the service uh, factor. And also another issue which has been debated is the federalist uh, attributes, responsibilities, if you will, the state's responsibility, and how we are confronting some as problems. And lastly, the participation of our populace and how is it to be done. Mainly when it comes to this new, um, to the new agenda we are designing. And I think we have to persist on 
Está se falando muito do mercado, do proposal, a victory, a winner proposal. We are talking about the market a, a lot. However, the market doesn't vote. Vencedores e a proposta vitoriosa é uma proposta have uh, been collecting some proposals on that, and we had a winner proposal, if you will. We can not leave behind a plan for our future, which is essential. And in this sense, when we talk about public services, we have to improve what we've been doing in regards to in structure investment, if you will. Because this infrastructure is important for the joint services, if you will, as a vector of growth for our country and for the future. This is a fundamental aspect for us to understand, because the growth that we want comes from a dynamic that is interconnected with the and social development. In the last 12 years, this proposal that I mentioned about was a winner one, and we will improve it. The second point here is the dichotomy of the public and private sector sectors. And I'd like to tell you here that I, I do not want to affirm that the private sector cannot participate as a partner. But we see, for example, when it comes to the national health system and to the public transport, we struggle to comply with our objectives because of the private sector in treatment. The, pri the private sector is a prof profitable sector, we, and we know that. And this mercantile objective cannot be intertwined with the public services, which are completely intertwined with the rights of the populace, if you will. We've been struggling with some experiences where we see the exacerbation of this issue. I have a colleague who lives in Rio, and he says that he takes three hours to go from his house to, the down, to downtown and vice versa, and three hours to go back to, um, to go back home which is a long time per day. And we have to reach some objectives for us to provide quality services for uh, the population. We cannot leave behind these facts. And another example of what I'm talking about here is the hydric, the water crisis in Sao Paulo, where the main responsible for the water uh, distribution, Sadespi, was privatized. And it declared last week, last year, demonstrating it, uh, the very thing that they affirmed, that they had a lot of profits coming from the population. And because of that, and because of the problems that we are facing, we are going through a strong struggle there in Sao Paulo. We have different levels of harmoniz harmonization with the private sector when it comes to public services. Unfortunately, the private idea has been prevailing when it comes to the opinion of the populace. However, it is our task to communicate better with the population uh, the roles of the private and public sector. When it comes to the federalistic pact, 
We've been dialoguing with the civil society and we've been discussing about it with the minister Campello and with the government about the sensation that the the policies, the national policies, can be better if we have another uh, uh, bigger involvement of the sectors. So this has to be uh, talked about as well. And I think this point are already important. We need to decentralize power, mainly in a country that has features more than 5,000 municipalities. But, but not only decentralizing, because uh, decentralization per se won't solve all the problems. The federal a uh, sector in uh, government has been collecting further information to develop a new level of public services in the state realm. I think the role of the state has to be better defined. And we have to, ta um, to think about new ways to develop the public uh, to develop a better governmental uh, administration system, if you will. Municipalities may give greater possibility and greater contribution. In this sense, we need to review what is defined. In addition, we also need to think and, and choose more the idea of the possibility of creation of um, more effective manners in certain in certain situations, such as consortia of municipalities, territoriality, including the whole of Brazil, such a diverse country. So within this agenda, and to think about the services with the effectiveness and the quality required, we will need to address these issues. Finally, social participation, which, in fact, and we need to recognize this, in a to a certain extent, there has been a deficit of this social participation. And I attribute on the side of society to the fact that we are in a period we are going through a period, maybe ending, of a large fragmentation of social movements. All of them aimed at specific issues and maybe not thinking and working on the large structural national issues. I think this is an important point. And we will used to admir admirate, have admiration on this, on this fight against poverty. And we would mobilize, we wouldn't mobilize that much the institutions and the so and social and the public realm. But I think there is another as aspect which was being discussed, which is the difficulty of communication from the government, which um, has to do with saying, stating what they want or the government wants to do, and debating with the social, with the public. 
about the policies. I think we don't have a magic, magical formula to sort things out. However, we are losing this battle against miscommunication. And in this sense, I think we're losing this battle. And we will have to reveal and confront this aspect regard in regards to communication. I was the president of a committee, and uh, back then uh, I asked myself for the first time whether or ways of public participation is old or not. And I think people will talk about it afterwards with me. The Congresses, the events that we go to nowadays, they are pertinent when it comes to or real experiences or modern experiences, but I think they have to be renewed sometimes when it comes to participation. Laís was talking about young people. Young people are connected nowadays. And what is the best way to uh, uh, populist participation? And are these means of communication be between the government and the population uh, the best ones? That's the question. So I think we'll all wrap up here, Romo. But I'd like to tell you, lastly, that the access to the services is a challenge and brings about a complex network to work uh, against. And I think we are fragmented sometimes. However, this network of issues all sometimes take us apart from the bulk of the, in, uh, the main problems, if you will. We have clear signs, we see clear signs that this m political system is old, that we are living in is old, even because of miscommunication and other crucial factors. I think uh, the right to access to this public m the public services has to win. However, we have to turn the, we have to sort uh, the problems and the questions of the public society, reducing poverty, considering that poverty is multidimensional. But will this, <coughs> will this actually take us to the, ba the best future, mainly a future with growth? This is another question. And this question leads us to the last point, which is confronting poverty is more than ever confronting inequalities inequality because both of them goes both of them go hand on hand and we have to tackle both objectives otherwise they will give us a lot of headache at, uh, in the future and i think within the next four years we will have new events with better outcomes of our projects and uh, regarding the participation of the public in the country thank you